Yeah, waste my twenties on this god thing. That's what they tell me, like they wanna make my mind change. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. I gotta get going. I slept through my alarm. Gosh, I always do this. Just put these guys on and we can get out the door. All right, let's go. What is up everybody and welcome back to Tea Time's Kitchen. And I know why all of you guys are here today. It's because of my top five, top five, top five. Throw on shoes. And throw on shoes could be anything from something if you're in a hurry, you're in a rush, you're late to a meeting, late to work, late to school, whatever it may be, you just gotta throw on a pair of shoes. Or it could be dressed down, you're not really trying to swag out on them, you just wanna throw on a pair of shoes. But you want them to be comfortable and you want them still to look good. So this is what my top five throw on shoes are. So let's go check those out. All right guys, coming at number five is BAM! This guy right here, the Saucony Grid 9000. This is the most comfortable of any of the Saucony models, and it's just a beautiful shoe overall. This is the Dirty Snow colorway. It could be any colorway, honestly, but as long as it's a Saucony Grid 9000, you could beat these, you could wear them all the time, and they actually look great too, so that's why I think it's a great throw-on shoe if you wanna look good and look different, because not a lot of people will have this model on out in public, so if you wanna swag on them, be comfortable, and just be able to throw it on really quick because how the tongue is and stuff, uh, it's just like it's one-sided, as you can see. Then go with the Saucony Grid 9000. Let's go to number four now. All right, coming in at number four is, bam, this guy right here, this Hirachi Low. I don't know the exact model or whatever, but the one that looks like this. It looks amazing. If you're in a rush or anything, the way it's constructed, you could just slip your foot right on. If you have a nice pair of sweatpants, a joggers, whatever it may be, and you kind of want to look like a bum but still look flashy, you use this. Even in the summer, too, you can slip this on with a pair of shorts. This is one of the best-looking shoes to wear shorts with, I mean, in my opinion. The fact that it's super comfortable and probably one of Nike's most comfortable comfortable models out there, I would definitely go with this Hirachi Low. And any color you get in this pretty much will look great. So this is why this is number four. So let's go check out number three. Coming at number three is BAM! This guy right here, the NMD R1. I specifically like the PK version, but any R1 at that would be great. Do you want to break necks? Snap. Do you want to look dope? Abraz on fleek. Do you want to be comfortable as anything? Hey guys, I'm in the clouds. And uh, need I say more? This has boots, so I might as well just leave because I explained it all. <laughs> this thing right here, especially the PK version, it's like a sock. You can slip your foot in and out of it super quick if you're in a rush, whatever it may be. And any R1 at that, you can put on pretty quick, but the PK is better. We already had a video about that. If you just want something to be comfortable in all day, if you want to wear sports clothes, uh, sweatpants, whatever it may be, this is one of the best shoes. It goes with all that gear, so this is super versatile in that. It gets thrown on super quick, so this is my number three, so let's go to number two. Coming in at number two is, bam, this guy right here, the Ultra Boost. Any 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 will work. Just like number three, this is a boost shoe, but this is even more comfortable than that. As you guys know, this is probably one of my favorite shoes ever. The Ultra Boost is just an amazing shoe. It feels comfortable. You can wear it with even jeans. It, it looks better with jeans than NMDs, in my opinion. You can't go wrong with a pair of Ultra Boost. Boost is life. We all know that. A lot of you guys probably thought this would be my number one, but no, 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 no. Not so fast. This is number two. Two, and number one, I think you'll understand. So, let's go do that. All right guys, coming in at number one is BAM, this guy right here. I know a lot of you guys are confused, like why wasn't the Ultra Boost, why wasn't the NMD number one, but the Van Skate Low is just a perfect shoe to be a beater, a slip-on shoe, a throw-on shoe, whatever you wanna call it. A lot of Vans like this one right here looks better when it's kinda of beat, a little bit more worn. I think it does at least. Go with jeans, khakis, chinos, shorts, joggers, whatever you wanna wear. You could beat these to a pulp and still wear them. When it's raining, when it's muddy out, wear these, you could just clean them. And the best thing is, the price is amazing. You could get these for like $50, $60 on sale for $20 I've seen. And Vans, everybody should love Vans. I love them. And that's why this is my number one shoe because it's affordable. It's not as comfortable as Boost, but you'll get a lot more wear out of it without being scared to get them messed up because they're affordable. So let me know guys, would you choose this as number one? And also before I go, I'll do some honorable mentions. Any Yeezy 350, a V2, a V1, or any boost shoe at that is a good throw on shoe. So mine is a van, it looks good. With all that being said, this is my top five throw on shoes. I love you, I'm T-Time, I'm out.